Sometimes, people cross paths for a reason. Brief encounters bind us in the most inconceivable ways. Encounters resonate deeply in our hearts, leaving us forever changed. During his 19-year career, Rai Karu left his mark as one of the greatest hitters of all time. In 1998, he would leave a different kind of mark after a chance meeting with an 11-year-old named Conrad Ruland. I picked him up from school that day, and the first thing he says is, Mom, I met Rai Karu today. He's a pro athlete, and you know I want to be a pro athlete. This was like the highlight of his day, you know, the highlight of his life. Conrad grew up in Southern California, he developed a passion for football and went on to play at Stanford under Jim Harbaugh. In 2011, his dreams of reaching the NFL and becoming a professional athlete like Rod Carew came true. As a parent, what was that like? I was very proud of him and I was very happy for him as well that he achieved just what he set out to do. I'm going to be a pro athlete and uh, he did it. In September 2015, while the six foot five tight end was in between NFL teams, his childhood hero was back in California, playing golf at a local course, when he suddenly felt an uncomfortable sensation in his chest. The next thing I knew is, you know, laying on the floor, there's a paramedic right over here to my right, and he has these zappers in his hand. And then he's saying, I mean, hurry up, we're losing him, we're losing him. And I was gone. Carew had suffered a massive heart attack, the type known as a widowmaker. In the course of over a year, he had two surgeries and still needed a heart and kidney transplant. It was 24-7 fear that if something went sideways, we, we could lose him again. You know, I'd start talking to God and I screamed and I cried and I screamed and I cried and I figured, you know, maybe he's teaching me a lesson so that when he sends me back, I have, you know, a much better understanding about life and what it's worth and, you know, things like that. In November 2016, Conrad was a free agent. Two days after Thanksgiving, he felt a click behind his left eye while working out. Conrad called his father, who is a doctor. He was not one to have headaches. For him to call and say, hey, I've got this feeling in my head. And so I was very concerned at that point. And uh, we had to rule out the worst. That's what I told him. I said, we got to make sure you don't have an aneurysm. And uh, kind of checked out. Sure enough, it's, it was my worst fear. I couldn't believe it. it just, it was just a shocker. I had texted him and I said, listen, we're going to, you know, we're going to beat this thing. We're going to fight. So his text to me said, thanks for the pep talk. I'm going to kick this thing's butt with the help of God. He has something big in store for me, and this is something that had to manifest in order for it to happen. I can't wait to see where his will brings me. And it was that night that his aneurysm burst, and that was the, that was the last text he ever sent me. Conrad was declared brain dead on December 12, 2016. He was 29 years old. I took my right ear, and I laid it on his chest, and I laid there all day from morning when I got up until I had to leave him. Just listen to his heart. I don't know why. I just did. And it stayed with you? It stayed with me. Such a tragic thing to lose this life in, in its prime and such a wonderful person. Just the life gets sucked out of you. That same December, Carew's health began to deteriorate. Five days after moving to a higher priority on the transplant list, he received the call. He was getting a new heart and kidney. When you were done playing, you got the call for the Hall of Fame. You told me this call was even better than that call. Why? I was like dumbfounded, you know? I was so happy. And, and so I said to myself, man, God doesn't want me yet. Almost immediately, family friends made the connection between Conrad's death and the widely reported news of Carew's transplant. At his funeral, 
one of his best friends since fourth grade, says, Mary, he laid out the timeline for me. He said, listen, Rod got a new heart and kidney from the same donor who was 29 from LA on the same night that Conrad donated. And I literally almost felt that he had to catch me. And I said, this has to be. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Carew. My name is Mary Ruland. We're pretty sure that my son Conrad donated his heart and left kidney to Mr. Carew. And I just wanted to reach out and my family wants to reach out. We feel like you're now a part of our family. I just wanted to touch base and talk to you guys. When you heard it was Conrad, who you had met many years before. <sighs> this is kind of tough for me. Here's a kid that I gave him the time of day when he was 11 years old. He never forgot that. You know, and I was hoping that one day I could meet that family and, and thank them for you know, giving me the opportunity to, to stay alive. Three months later, that tearful meeting took place. Welcome. It's good to see you. There was joy, there was sadness, and it is bittersweet. Bitter because we lost our son, but sweet because it did go to a, a wonderful family. That meeting was only the first, and at one recent reunion, Mary had another unique opportunity to hear her son's heart again. I knew that heartbeat, and it was strong. It was, I like to tell him he's got a Ferrari beating in his chest right now. He really does. Thank you for coming to do this, Rod. This is like amazing. He lives on, he beats on. Together, they will affect the lives of many. All I want is nothing more. Now these two families, united by their different paths, are forever bound by a single heart. When they come over here, I feel like a part of Conrad is back home. You know, those are special moments for us as much as it is for them. It's as though we've known them forever. This is a family that lives 12 miles from us, and our kids went to school together. There are all these connections, Mary, right down to the number 29. That was Rod's number, Conrad's age. What do you make of all that? I actually think Conrad chose Rod Carew. He chose where his organs went, and he said, this man is going to get my heart. I don't think they're coincidences. It's just meant to be. Dear Conrad, thank you. You're my hero, my savior, and forever my brother. I'm doing all I can to take the greatest care of the new kidney and heart you so selflessly donated. Whoever knew our lives would intersect again this way. I'll keep you with me forever, and for that, I'll be forever grateful. I love you, brother, R.C. 